After ovulation, the cells of the follicle, which did not leave with the oocyte into the oviduct, form a brief corpus hemorrhagicum as blood clots from the rupture, and then forms a temporary endocrine structure known as the corpus luteum. This is primarily composed of the fecal cells and the follicular cells, which undergo changes known as luteinization. In the maturing follicle, substances in the follicular fluid inhibit this process, which then occurs after the follicle ruptures. These cells then form the small and large luteal cells, with the follicular cells forming the larger cells and the fecal cells forming the smaller cells, which then metabolize cholesterol to produce androgens and from these androgens to produce progesterone instead of estrogen, at least primarily. Some estrogen is also produced as are other signals such as inhibin A. This is because new enzymes have been produced for the conversion of these androgens into progesterone under the influence of LH at ovulation. The corpus luteum will be maintained for about 7 to 14 days after ovulation unless the signal from a developing embryo, human chorionic gonadotropin, is released, at which in which case the corpus luteum will be maintained for another three months secreting the progesterone which means the uterine lining maintains the uterine lining that the embryo has attached to um, at which point then the placenta three months later is making sufficient hormones to maintain itself if implantation and the signal hcg are not produced then the corpus luteum will break down into the corpus albicans and ultimately from their scar tissue as a new uh, menstrual cycle begins. The progestins in birth control pills are mimicking the action of the progesterone produced by the corpus luteum in case of pregnancy, which then inhibits a subsequent menstrual cycle from beginning.